Hey guys, join me today to make some beef oxtail. I got this from a local butcher and I'm really excited to make it with you. I am Jen, I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I've experienced radical healing on a carnivore diet and I wanna help you do the same. Like I said, we're gonna make oxtail today. So this is actually the tail of the cow. I know, it's a little bit weird. But why are we gonna make it? Well, a few reasons. One is I'm kind of on a kick to learn how to make different parts of the animal. I don't think anything should go to waste. I wanna use every bit of it that I can. And also the different parts of the animal have different nutrients. Oxtail in particular is really high in collagen, lots of good healthy fat, and it also has quite a bit of selenium, zinc, phosphorus, and iron. So join me today and you can see exactly how I make it. Don't worry, it's gonna be really, really simple because that's just how I roll. While I'm heating up my cast iron, let's explore this thing a little bit. It's kind of funky. I thought that it would be cut into separate parts, but it's actually all still completely connected. It looks like intestines or something. So you can see the parts that are in physical therapy words more proximal to the body are really big and then it gets smaller as you go down the tail to the tip. So I think I'm going to cut this into individual pieces so that I can start browning them in my cast iron before I actually start braising them. Well, they cut really easily, that's nice. Oh, you might hear my lard bubbling back here. I'm just gonna dry off a little bit of the moisture so that they brown a little bit more easily. And I'm gonna add a little bit of salt because you know that never hurt anybody. I really like these paper towels, by the way. They're super absorbent, they're kind of stretchy. They're a little expensive, but totally worth the money. They're Viva from Walmart. So here's a look at these bigger pieces have quite a bit of fat. Here's the, well, I guess I thought it was the bone, but it's actually kind of soft. So I don't know if that's like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> and then as the pieces get smaller, there's a little more muscle and less fat. Okay, so I'm not sure what part is actually bony. It feels hard around here, so it's almost like this is a spinal cord, although it's probably not. It's probably just some sort of bone marrow or something. Anyway, I'm, I've got some research to do on the anatomy of a cow's tail. Here are my cut up oxtail pieces, and then I've got some hot lard in my cast iron. I'm gonna place each piece in there to start getting brown. I said I was gonna salt it, but I forgot. So I guess I'll do that now. I haven't exactly been timing this, but I think it's been about two minutes. So I'm gonna flip them over to the other side. Oh, it's nice and brown, that's good. Those little ones don't really want to stand up, so we'll just put them on their side. I think those are good enough. I am now going to transfer them to this ceramic coated cast iron that I just got. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. I portioned out a little over two cups of some homemade broth to pour in here. I don't know if it's gonna be enough though, let's see. Actually, that's pretty good. They're not fully submerged, but they're pretty close. I want this to cook low and slow, but I don't wanna wait forever for it to heat up. So I'm gonna put it on kind of medium high heat with the lid on. And as soon as it starts getting a little bubbly, I'll turn it down. I might be fooling myself, but I think I hear some boiling going on, and I do, yay! So I'm gonna turn this way down. We're gonna have it basically like on a simmer for a couple of hours until it's fork tender. I'm just gonna keep it covered and enjoy my beautiful new pot. I don't even know if it's called a pot, whatever it is, I don't know. Our oxtail's been simmering almost an hour. Let's just take a little look-see see how she looks. 
So yeah, it's definitely not fork tender yet. I mean, I can get a fork in there, but it's not pulling the meat apart or anything. I think I might actually flip these over, the ones that weren't fully submerged, just to get a little bit more liquid on some of the parts. But they're gonna be another hour or two probably. It has now been about four hours. Oh, that's kind of hot. I should have got a one of those hot pot things. Uh, what do you call that? A, crock, a pot holder. Anyway, it looks like our liquid, oh yes, our liquid has boiled off quite a bit. And you see how soft this is now? I mean, it just completely comes apart with a fork. So, we made it! Well, I was gonna have this for lunch, but it took a lot longer than I was expecting, so I already ate. So now I'm not hungry, but oh my gosh, this smells so good and looks so good, I almost wanna eat it now. I think I'll let it cool for a while and then at least do a little taste test for you. So now you can tell which parts are soft and which parts are hard. So I'll eat off all the meat and fat, and then there will be a little bit of bone left over, I think. And so I will use that for some bone broth. Look how like jiggly and gelatinous it is. Oh my gosh, so you know what they said about it being so full of collagen. You can see it with your very eyes. It's still too hot, but <laughs> I can't stop playing with it. I think that our oxtail is now cool enough to taste, so let's just try a piece. Oh my gosh. It's so good. It, I know it doesn't exactly look pretty, it kind of looks like mush, but it's just meat and salt, literally, that's it. I mean, I used that broth to cook it in, but it's so good. I mean, how can something be so good when that's the only ingredient? Mm. I'm telling you what, it's so tender. Sometimes when things are really fatty, they're kind of gross and they turn you off, but this fat seems so nourishing, almost like lamb fat. So good. And then look, there's a little bone. I thought there would be. And yeah, that must be the spinal cord because that's inside the bone. So it's kind of like, kind of like marrow. Forgive me for not being very ladylike on the camera. Anyway, you've got to give this a try. Um, actually, okay, when I took off that little spot that I said was like the spinal cord, this was under it. So I think that was actually like a disc, you know, like a verte vert vertebral disc. That's what my physical therapy brain says. Anyway, it's full of collagen and lots of good stuff, so I don't know, keep eating it. <laughs> so, if you enjoyed this, I would love it if you would let me know in the comments. Even if the comment is, you're disgusting, stop eating like this on camera. I'll, I take this stuff to heart, so if that's how you feel, let me know. Um, but I would love for you to like and subscribe and catch me on Instagram where we can connect every day.